Hey everyone. So if you don't know, I've been looking for a job recently for when I graduate um, and it has been major stressing me out. So today I thought we could do like a chill, get ready with me, just a little bit of de-stressing. And while we're doing that, we could talk about some of the Grammys fashion from this weekend. So if you want to do your makeup with me and hear my thoughts about some of the Grammy stuff, then go ahead and just keep on watching. I'm not really going to be like going through the um, product names as I'm doing stuff because I find it's kind of hard for me to multitask. Um, but I guess I'll just start off by saying I am by no means a fashion connoisseur. I am in a t-shirt right now. I'm in a t-shirt most days. That's just kind of like, I don't know, my fashion extent goes to t-shirts. I do watch Project Runway, so I guess that makes me basically an expert. Not really, but um, I do enjoy looking at the um, red carpets from events like this. Again, I don't like watch the actual events, but I basically just get a recap. Like I'll look up um, who won. I'll look up if there were any performances. I'll watch like the performances, like musical performances and stuff. Um, I And then I'll look up like the fashion. Uh, so it's kind of like watching it, but like without all the commercial breaks and stuff like that. So um, I looked up all of the Grammys fashion and we're gonna talk about a bunch of different outfits, um, as many as we have time for. I have 24 saved to my phone. So we've got a lot of stuff to work with here, people. Um, we probably won't get through all of them, but that's okay. I'm only going to be focusing on the outfits I like. I feel like there's a lot of outfits that I could roast, but at the end of the day, like who am I to say that someone's look isn't good? You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like there were so many good looks that like, why take time to talk about the things that I don't like, you know? I'd rather just like talk about the things I did like. So that's what we're gonna do. And now let's talk about the first look, which is no Allegra. So I guess a disclaimer for some of these, some of these artists I really, really like and listen to a lot. So uh, I am biased and I, for some people, I guess I'm biased in the other way where like I don't like their music or like I think like they seem kind of rude or whatever. So I guess I'm biased both ways, but okay. Snow Allegra, first of all, I love her music. I mean, I feel like the R&B category this year was just like stacked, like seriously mega stacked with some really good music that came out. Like there was just a lot of good music for R&B last year. Um, but Snow Allegra probably had my favorite outfit of the night. It is so flattering on her. It is just beautiful. I'm like, if you see me glancing over here, I have the picture pulled up in front of me, but obviously I have it posted for you guys too. But I just think that her look is stunning. And it's like a simple dress, but it has enough for it to be like, oh yeah, you could totally wear that to the Grammys. You know, sometimes I feel like dresses can be like a little too simple and if you're not accessorizing right it can kind of feel like you're underdressed in a way but the detailing on like the side of her dress the cut on the shoulders how it goes up a little bit it fits her like a glove like perfectly it fits her um and it's just beautiful so that one was my favorite dress of the night uh just what else is there to say I mean Stunning, right? Stunning. Next, I want to talk about another one of my favorite artists. Um, honestly, probably in like my top five artists right now. Her. I love her. When she came out with um, the Carried Away album, the one that was initially released in two parts, but then made into a full album. Oh my god, I listened to it nonstop for months. I love that album. And I loved her outfit last night. I feel like a lot of the different websites, like their pictures, kind of did her dirty. 
Um, her outfit was a tribute to Aretha Franklin and it was like a caftan jumpsuit thing. It was beautiful, but a lot of the publications had her like with her arms at her side, which I'm like, you're not really getting the whole vibe of her outfit without you know, her arms up. So I'm posting one with her arms up so that way you can really see. But I just think the color is beautiful. I think that like the like sequining and stuff on it is really, really pretty. And I love that her has like the signature sunglasses and all of her looks. And she is just stunning. And I love that she did something a little bit different than like a dress and it's a tribute. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. I guess let's just stick with like the yellow theme and talk about Japanese breakfast. Again, I love Japanese breakfast. She has a song called Kokomo, Indiana, uh, which I love so much. Really, that whole album was just a masterpiece. I'm really into like, I, I mean, I know everyone says this, but I listen to a lot of different genres of music, but I would say my top three three are R&B, indie, and rap. And so um, I listen to a lot of indie music and Japanese breakfast is just amazing. Uh, so there's that. Again, I'm biased. But I thought her look was really interesting. One, she wore a mini dress, which you don't see as often, but it's still unique and looks formal and interesting. And I thought she killed it. And I thought like the simplistic accessories and like the little buns and everything were just so cute. Um, but on top of that, if you listen to her album, you may have noticed, but I felt like her dress matched her album cover so well. And I loved that. I loved like it was like paying homage to, you know, kind of why she was there in the first place. Maybe that's just like me like being like, oh, obviously, but like she might not even have planned that. But to me, it definitely looked like it was like kind of tied to her um to her actual album, which I thought was really cool. And I just loved the dress. So there's that too. Though I guess one thing is like how do you sit in something like that for like the whole night? But standing on the carpet, 10 out of 10. All right, let's switch gears and talk about some of the male fashion of the night. So of course we have to talk about Lil Nas X who was absolutely in the top best dressed of the evening. He always kills it, um, but I loved like the intricate design of his all white like suit not suit, I don't know what to call it because it's like the zip up jacket and like the pants, whatever. Whatever it is, I loved it. And I loved the butterfly in the middle. I thought again, it like kind of tied to like the aesthetic of his album a little bit, which I just really enjoy like when there is some connection uh, to, like to the outfit and like the, the artist or like the album or whatever. But his stunning stunning i'm sad that he didn't win any grammys but honestly out of like that really tough competition it kind of makes sense i liked his album um but there was just some really good stuff in the grammys this year y'all but i love the platform boots i love the high collar with the v-neck the like fierce like uh structured shoulder the studs the embroidery the like um quilting all of it 10 out of 10, y'all. It You cannot deny. And the inner corner. Can we talk about the inner corner highlight? Because it looked so good. It looked so good. Okay, on to the next one. Next up for male fashion, we absolutely have to talk about Benny Blanco. Um, he close second for me for best dressed man of the night. Um... I feel like everyone's always like, oh, like you can only do a suit as like, you know, a man at award shows, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, but not all suits are made equal, right? Because technically I feel like what Benny Blanco wore is like a kind of suit, but it's not just a suit, you know? Um, one thing I love about it that's like super random, but the length of the pant 
I love that like crop like ankle length. Um, I love that the shoes match. The detailing is obviously insane. I can't really like see the undershirt, but it looks like, I don't know, is that like a necklace? It looks like a necklace. Maybe he's not wearing an undershirt, um, but all of like the jewelry matches and everything. Um, and it stunning, 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 stunning. Someone else that I thought really pulled off the suit is Ilze Juber. I'm not familiar with her. I'd never seen her name before. Um, I saw it like on like all the articles and stuff. Um, it says she's a singer songwriter, but like, I feel like it says everyone's a singer songwriter basically. Um, so I'll have to like check out her music at some point, but she wore this bright yellow suit and it was beautiful. Um, again, I feel like like this is like a different take on a suit. Like I love the oversized, it's like oversized, but like still obviously fits and is made for her body. I love like the large ruffled um, sleeves coming out through the end of the jacket. I love the bold yellow print. It kind of reminds me, like it's giving me like grandma's couch vibes, which is like my desired aesthetic. I also love um, her hair. I feel like compliments it really well, like the half up. Um, and I just like it. It's like, I like the chunky boot with it. I like that the pants cover most of the boot. I don't know, something about it is just really aesthetically pleasing. I didn't see a ton of people talking about this one after the fact, like in like the best dressed from the red carpet, you know, type of articles. But to me, this one's being slept on because I think that that's like a really nice suit and I think she looks absolutely stunning in it. And now I know to go check out her music and see if it's up my alley. So someone else that I felt like had an insanely good outfit was SZA. Even though she was on crutches, she still rocked the dress and it looked really, really good. Um, so I am a sucker for floral print in general. This one is kind of like reminding me just a touch of Taylor Swift's. I think it was the Grammy outfit that she wore a few years ago, like when her most recent album came out. I think it's called Folklore. I'm, I don't listen to a bunch of Taylor Swift, but I'm pretty sure it was called Folklore and she wore like this dress with like the flowers all over it. And Sizzle's dress this year kind of reminds me of that, but like the more like, I guess, elegant version, like the mermaid dress. And I like the ruching in the front and how it all kind of like leads to like the flowers in the front. And it kind of looks like they're like coming out of like what would be like, I don't know, like the, um, the base of a dress. I don't know. I just thought it was like very artistic, which is totally on brand for SZA. I feel like everything she does and wears and stuff oozes aesthetic. Um, and I thought that this was no exception and she looked beautiful. I also appreciated that she decided to go with like the more like minimal makeup and minimal accessories and everything. And it seems like she really let the dress be the like centerpiece, um, which I think was a very smart decision because it's definitely a statement kind of dress, you know? So I don't know if I said this, but I am biased towards SZA. I love SZA so much. SZA might be tied for like my number one artist of all time. Control is still a jam. I cannot wait for the second album. I really thought we were going to get it last year, y'all. I really did, but we didn't. And I'm here living my life, waiting. Uh, I was supposed to see her in concert when TDE, this is like a totally a tangent. I'm going to keep doing my makeup while I talk about this. But I was supposed to go see her in concert when she was performing with TDE. Um, they were all like doing a group thing. It was amazing because I am a huge Schoolboy Q fan. Absolutely love Kendrick Lamar, greatest rapper of all time. Uh, I'm willing to fight on that. But um, when sh they were supposed to come, she like announced a few days before that like her voice was shot and so she couldn't. And I was so sad. I mean, of course, like the concert was so amazing to see everyone else perform. Uh, Sir was amazing live. Um, so 
you know, didn't expect that, but that was a bonus of that concert. But I'm so sad I didn't get to see her live. That just means I'll have to go see her in concert some other time. But she's beautiful always, and she was for the Grammys too. Okay, so I guess going off of SZA, let's talk about Doja Cat. Um, since, you know, their Grammy was for best duo pop performance or whatever the like actual like name is. But um, Doja Cat has style for days. I saw like a comment one time somewhere, maybe like on Twitter or something, um, that said like Doja Cat looks like a different person every time you see her. And ever since then, I like haven't been able to forget it. And I agree. I feel like she is so interesting because she doesn't have like a set style whatever that means she just kind of does like whatever she's feeling in the moment and i love it and i think it always turns out beautiful and i loved the sheer dress with like the bodysuit underneath i think that like like light blue color is a very flattering color for her um and the blonde hair with it and like how it was like spiking out it was giving like very like 90s type of like uh i don't know like 90s royalty mixed with like 90s celebrity i don't know there's something about it that was like kind of regal to me maybe it's like the necklace that she was wearing with it and like the uh bangle but i loved that her purse had candy in it like what i love it so much um and just i don't know i just really liked her outfit it wasn't as like dramatic as some of her previous outfits have been uh, but I kind of liked that and I thought it paired really well with scissors, which I don't think like they necessarily planned But it worked out well when they went to accept their Grammy Which was like one of the best moments of the show which again didn't watch but did watch the YouTube trending clip of their uh, Of their acceptance speech. I guess we'll just stick with mega stars for a second and let's talk about Billie Eilish Billie Eilish is another person. I think she's like really exploring her style right now. And I find it really interesting. She showed up to the Oscars a couple weeks ago, maybe last week with black hair again. And I did not know that she had done her black hair again. I was like, oh my gosh. So maybe we're getting like new style of Billie after like the happier than ever, like very like feminine Billie style. Um, I love this new direction though. I love like the gothic chic. I kind of love like the different like structural pieces of it. Again, similar to Japanese breakfast. Like I'm not sure how you sit down necessarily. I mean, she could take off like the jacket, but I love like the little bit of like leg showing with like the combat boots. Well, I guess they're not combat boots. They're like, they're like flats. I'm not sure what they are. They're very interesting shoes, but everything is just very like geometric with this outfit. And even like the glasses, like, I don't know. There's just something about it that I love. I love like the sideways train. It's very edgy, but like very appropriate for an event like the Grammys in my expert opinion. Someone else that I felt like had a really interesting take on a Grammys outfit was Arlo Park. Um, again, love their music. Um, I thought that this was like how to do shorts well at an award show. I know Kristen Stewart wore shorts to the Oscars a few weeks ago. And I mean, like it was fine, you know, but I just feel like Arlo Parks like really wore that outfit and like killed it and I feel like was a different take on how to wear shorts to a formal event and I just thought it worked really well um more so than Kristen Stewart's look did a couple weeks ago um but there's something like really I don't know geometrical about it like the shape of the um jacket like the puffed sleeves that only go like halfway, the like kind of like tassel-y looking things that come down. It kind of reminds me of my graduation jacket. Like it has like these like sleeves that come down 
and the tassels on like the end of her like jacket remind me of that I don't know that's what my mind thought of but um I like the like long boots with the long socks the white the like gold um jewelry I just thought it worked really really well of course we have to talk about L King's look I feel like a lot of people said L King was best dressed of the night and I I can totally see why. I mean, I think that that is a very fair, um, fair judgment of who is best addressed. Uh, the full red, but like in a suit is kind of a fun twist on like the, oh, everyone wears a red ball gown to like, you know, all these events. Um, I love all of the flares. I love the big hat. I just love how like, um, like statement it is without needing to be like a big long flowing dress which is I feel like where most people go when they think statement again I feel like it just kind of disproves the idea that like suits are boring like wear a suit like this man I mean it is stunning you know I guess maybe I'm just figuring out that like I'm a fan of a suit with flared um like big flared sleeves because the other suit I liked also had flared sleeves so maybe that's the commonality. I also really loved St. Vincent's dress. It kind of reminds me of like the old school robes with like the like shape of it and like the sleeves and stuff. One of what it reminds me of I just thought of it. I've, I've been like trying to place this for forever but I guess saying it out loud is helping me. Okay okay y'all here's a deep cut. In the Grinch that stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. Um, the, I forget the actress's name, but the actress who plays like the babe, you know, the one that the mayor is in love with. When she, we first meet her character, when she's doing her lights on her house with like the gun, you know what I'm talking about? She comes out in this robe and it looks shockingly similar to St. Vincent's outfit from the Grammys. Let me know, does anyone else see it or am I crazy? I, y'all, it's the blue version of St. Vincent's look. But I love it, I love it. I love like the, almost it looks like holographic in the pictures, like the fabric is like this like sheer pink holographic material, which if I am right, that is amazing. Let me wear all holographic stuff, um, like clothes for the rest of my life, please and thank you. I'm emulating my Christine from Simply Neological, but hollow everything, yes please. Anyways, um, I love like the feathering. It's, it doesn't look like feathering though. It's like, like ruffles on the end um, and that really bright pink color. I think her makeup complements the look perfectly perfectly whoever did her makeup needs a raise because like that makeup matches so so well um I love the cutout in the center I feel like it makes it look chic like that combined with the sheer fabric makes it look a little more chic and appropriate for the awards show um and yeah I think those are my thoughts on this outfit Next, please. Okay, let's do another best dressed man. So another best dressed man to me, Anthony Mackie. I thought, again, this is more like a classic like menswear for awards shows, but there was just enough about it that was unique to me that I was like, oh, it like stuck out in my head, you know? Um, I feel like I really like the gold and black um, jacket. I know he wasn't the only man at the Oscars in that like gold and black combo, but what made his different and what I liked about it was the different like textures. So it looked like he had like these like, like a crushed velvet kind of pant. Um, I liked that it was like a tailored fit. I wish it was cropped just a little bit. I think that could have made it even cooler, but as is, I think it's still nice and looks good. Um, and I also like, he has velvet shoes, it looks like too, like velvet slip-ons, but they look different, like a different type of velvet or whatever than his, um, his pants. And so again, it just kind of is playing to like all of these different textures. And I just think that's kind of cool. So 
shout out to Anthony Mackie. Not really sure why he was there. I mean, I know like there's crossover, like there were some musicians and stuff at the Oscars a few weeks ago. Um, but normally I feel like they're nominated for something. And from what I saw, like I was looking at like the nominee list and stuff. I didn't see him nominated for anything. I like could just be off. But, you know, like, good on him for going to the award show, you know, and he looked really good doing it. All right, next, let's talk about the one and only Joni Mitchell. First of all, an icon. I'm so glad she won, like, the person award. I'm not really sure what award it is, but she won some type of award and um, well-deserved for, like, her accomplishments and achievements in music. Uh, she is amazing. Her album will forever and always be a classic. I'm like blanking on what it's called. The one with like the blue cover. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, um, I love her outfit. I'm not gonna lie. In my head, Joni Mitchell kind of always looks like how she looks on that album cover. So when I saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, Joni Mitchell is like, like a little bit older. Like I did not realize. But her outfit, you guys, first of all, we've already talked about the fact that I love florals. Like, we've been over this. This is a surprise to no one at this point. So her floral outfit, of course, is an automatic win from me. But on top of that, um, I like what she did with, like, the red um, accents, like, on her hat, her necklace, her shoes, her cane. It all tied really well. I feel like it could have looked really busy really fast with that print and also I feel like it could have looked a little like juvenile I guess like it's not like the like type of floral that SZA wore or like the like really like small florals which I feel like look a little bit more like mature I guess I don't know if this is making sense at all but I I feel like with like the full length jacket with like the fringe and like the way everything was styled I just felt like it it looked very, very nice. I mean, that's a horrible description. Oh my God, the English teacher in me is like, what are you doing? But that's, I mean, it looked nice. That's what I have to say about it. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. Okay, next up, we have Billy Porter. So Billy Porter always slays, like every time he goes to a like show or event or whatever else, and this was no different, he slayed. Um, I love the all pink. I love the texture of like the like ruffles and like the see-through and how it's like a little silky looking with like the bold like it looks like more of like a cotton pant. I like how it's like tucked in. You to be playing with like the length of like that. Again, the side train. The side train is coming for us all. Um, I like the, how it goes into the gloves. But what I like most of all is the bold lip, which I feel like we don't really see a lot on red carpets and so i was so happy to see a bold lip i was like billy how dare you oh my god i love it so i loved that and like the silver shoes like the like shiny reflective shoes i also thought were just fabulous i mean again he literally always kills it and this time was no different we interrupt this programming for your daily cat uh, intermission, which is now a thing, I guess. My partner just came in and is holding our little baby Fry. And what you don't see is Bones is sitting at my feet, meowing, meowing, meowing. You may have seen him in the background earlier, uh, but say hello to Fry. You wanna poke your head in or no? Okay, well then, goodbye. This was your cat intermission. I've been requested to also get an intermission with Bones. Bones, the celebrity. Uh, my partner's trying to get his attention, so if you hear snapping, that's what that is. Again, maybe someday we'll get my partner on camera, but okay, let's keep talking fashion. Go away. <laughs> All right, next up, we have Chrissy Teigen, who I was talking about being biased, like, towards people. I definitely feel like I'm biased against Chrissy Teigen. I feel like she's, like, a Hollywood mean girl. Do I mean, I don't know her personally, but like with everything that came out about like the bullying stuff and all that, I'm just like not a Chrissy Teigen fan. 
but I cannot deny her dress was gorgeous. Um, it's giving me like Disney princess vibes. It's absolutely beautiful. I cannot take that away from her. Um, now I do feel like it's fitting that it's bright pink because you know, I, like I was saying, mean girls, right? But like, I feel like the shape is really flattering. Um, I thought it was the best ball gown of the evening. I like the like how the bust matches like the front of the dress like with the ruffles and everything uh i thought her jewelry looked really good with it the classic updo with the ball gown all of it looked really good i can't take that away from her so chrissy Teigen makes the best dress list next up is laverne cox uh again bias towards laverne cox love her i actually got to see her speak at my university which was really really cool um but i feel like there were a lot of different people who wore like this sheer black dress um now i feel like laverne cox did it the best which is why we're talking about her outfit i like that it's like you can see the whole one piece underneath and it's just like sheer i like the lace um detail of like the sheer black dress i like the fit of the top how it's kind of got like that like old hollywood shape that's what i always think of when i see like that like dip in the front i don't know how else to describe that i like the hair piece that goes with it it kind of again is like giving like that old hollywood vibe um i like her eyeshadow and like really just her makeup overall and then the hair and everything i feel like it complements the dress really well and like the whole outfit um and i like that she wore a little bit of color because i feel like most of the people on like the eyes didn't really go very bold with the color so i love to see like the purple smoky eye in its full moment all right uh one last male fashion outfit i think we have to talk about is corey henry who makes amazing music if you don't listen highly recommend checking him out i think he does some really really good stuff um but i also thought his outfit was really nice i like the purple color and again this is kind of an example of like how to wear a suit better than like just like the boring old suit you know um i mean it is still classic right like the shape of the suit is very classic but i love like the really chunky turtleneck underneath i also like that his shoes like match but aren't like a perfect match they're like a little bit darker but i feel like it really works i also like the bracelets he has on um and i mean these are like just like his glasses but like i really like his glasses i know that's like something that he wears all the time you know but the glasses added to it for me they really did the whole vibe was like very like like classy sexy like i just liked it so men i guess my advice is when in doubt if you want to spruce up your suit wear a turtleneck i guess all right i am running out of makeup to apply to my face and also looks but i do have like a few more i want to try to get to before we wrap up so next up is emily la russa uh, again not familiar with who that is but i really liked her outfit i feel like this is an example of how to do a simple dress and still make it like grammys worthy you know because at its core i mean it's like an orange chiffon dress with like a little bit of a cape right and like a slit i mean the color is interesting like the shape is really flattering and beautiful and i love it uh if you don't know orange is my least favorite color but even still i think that that dress is really really pretty even though it's like bright bright orange um but what really makes this look for me are like the fashion accessories that go with it so like the headdress um her hair the gloves the um purse the necklace the earrings and most importantly her makeup her makeup is stunning i feel like she took euphoria and took it to the oscars like that's how I, not oscars what grammys and that's what i feel like though i feel like that is the vibe that she's giving with her makeup and it's really really pretty i feel like the last one that we have time to talk about uh is lady gaga so lady gaga's outfit wasn't my favorite but i think she looked really really nice um 
I'm curious, I didn't see any pictures of like the back of the dress and I'm really curious about how that white piece connects in the back, like what it actually looks like. Cause I feel like that could potentially make or break the dress to me.